Sunday alcohol sales are off the table for Augusta bars thanks to a Georgia law limiting sales to just one Sunday a year. But our local businesses are getting creative. Craig Allison is live in downtown Augusta. So Craig, walk us through how bars are finding new ways to sort of skirt these restrictions and still cash in. That's right, Laura. Commissioners are trying to reverse their decision on Super Bowl Sunday for bars here on Broad Street and across Richmond County. But for now, it's about trying to get creative and stay positive heading into this weekend. While the effort for collective bar owners downtown is to change the city's current ordinance on Sunday sales next year, they're still trying to turn things around this weekend. General Manager Chris McCarthy is gearing up Joe's Underground for New Year's Eve's Eve. He's planning on live music, champagne, even a countdown if customers want it, hoping people will still come out a day early to bring in 2024. I don't particularly give a crap if we're open on Sunday or not for Super Bowl, but I'd like, we've, I mean, St. Patty's Day is one of the biggest days for us of the year. It put us in the black for three months. Cinco de Mayo would be massive for us. Local liquor stores like Stevens Creek Wine and Spirits are starting to see their customers hit the shelves early ahead of the big weekend. The manager saying some are stocking up their home supply with nowhere to go on the night of December 31st. The job also to bring up customer spirits. Some customers are come here like sad faces mm -hmm. and when they go, they like these smile faces. Again, commissioners say day one, first meeting January 2nd. They're trying to reverse that decision, bring everyone to the table and get people on the hands. But for now, it's about trying to raise a toast a day early for those bars that are affected this Sunday. Maybe people will decide to head out on Saturday, celebrate a little early, quiet night at home. Doesn't sound too bad, Craig. Thanks. Riley?